When I was hosting CHFI, I did a shout out about the Dream Team project CityLine was about to embark on and Nadine Williams was in her car and she heard it. She's an incredible poet, an amazing mom and a phenomenal entrepreneur, but she was feeling stuck. So I thought, let me go meet her. Dear Tracy, for years I have been the strong black woman. That is not my truth. My truth is that I am a strong actress. I have been drowning in depression since a poor decision in my youth. It started peeling away layers of my soul and my life has been one unhealed trauma after another, resulting in overshopping and hoarding. I know my best days are in front of me but I need to tell my story. Hi, Tracy. Hey, Dean. Hi. How are you? I am so good. How are you? I'm good. Listen, can You're I welcome. can I touch you? Yes! What do you mean? Bring no. it in. We gotta get it all out yes. so that we can start to fix it. Absolutely. So are you ready? I totally am. For the journey. I am. I'm so excited <laughs> for you. Okay, let's start with the stuff. Yes. Let's go to the stuff. Show me the bedroom. There is so much stuff. There's a lot happening in there. There is bedroom. a whole lot happening in here. Um, Good. Yeah. Are you okay with me sitting on yes, your bed? For sure. It's let's have a seat on the bed. It's comfy. The, everything just came out of the dryer, so not to worry. Can we talk a little bit about all this stuff? What's, what we is can. all of this about? So um, this is about my 14th or 15th move. Oh. Since I have, um, I gave up my regular job downtown and have been working as an artist. All of this stuff is just new things that I've bought. Most all of this stuff since I've been here since 2020. So, Stresses happen and there's a lot of stress in the household. For my escape, I always escape. <laughs> I escape to Banana Republic, I escape to the Bay, I escape to Winners and I tell myself, oh, I'm just passing the time, I'm just looking and oh my goodness, I always come back with a bag. Um, it became a little much and a little overwhelming and I mean, what I've been trying to do is separate myself from them because I realize it's too much, like the basement, has bags, like at least a hundred bags down there. Nadine, we've gone through all of this. We see all the tags. Yes. Walk me through here. What's happening over here? What do we got? So this is also a whole bunch of things. I think they're sitting on a suitcase. And then this is the walk-in closet, essentially. And things that I brought from uh, the house that I moved from to come here. Yeah. Okay, let's Thank go you. over here where you all would sit and eat. Um, <laughs> Is that we what happens? We don't sit and eat at all. It doesn't happen. How does There's it usually a, work? Everybody takes their plate whenever yeah. they're ready to eat and they find different spaces, whether it's the couch, yeah. they've been bringing it up to their rooms, which I absolutely detest. But um, when they're young people, you can kind of talk to them. When they're 30, 28 and 25, Unless you want a war, you kind of just leave them. Those are adults. They're definitely adults. I live in a war zone, a complete war zone. And, and that's, that's the truth. It's traumatizing to no end. And it's been ongoing for years. My heart won't let me do the drastic things because financially people aren't independent enough to do that. So I keep putting myself kind of secondary for that sake, but it is to my detriment time and again, like, it, 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 I think that's one of the manifestations, the, the clothes, the everlasting amount of clothes, that's one of the, that's one of the manifestations. When I thought we were reconciling and then the divorce came out of left field and, you know, I have two kids who are two and four and here comes a new baby, I was, I was a shell of myself for years. Unsettling behavior of, of moving and, yeah all of that. So I feel like I have not given them the best foundation. And so I, it almost feels like I try to overcompensate for that. I get it. 
Yeah. But you know what? Throughout all the mess, I have found poetry. And Tracy, I write beautiful poetry. And it, 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 it's a thing that keeps me going. It's a fuel in my vehicle. So listen, you've opened for Michelle Obama. Uh -huh. You have opened for Prime, Prime Minister Ministers Justin of... Trudeau. You've opened for Prime the Prime Minister, Minister of Jamaica. Jamaica. Yes. You have worked with some very big names. You've gotten a ton of, of accolades. And what are these uh, this here? This is Volunteer Recognition, Citizenship and Immigration Canada. Um, these two here are, I even, I framed the envelope <gasps> oh from the office of Michelle gosh. and Barack Obama. So Mrs. Obama wrote to me, um, and this was 2017. So the book she has is With This Pen I Do Tell. So I married my pen when the whole marriage fell apart. I think when I look back on it, I think that's kind of weird. And the envelope I treasure, the, yes. the office of Barack and Michelle Obama. Girl. What? <laughs> yes. Um, Nadine, I love seeing all of your awards. I love seeing all of your accolades. I know that you're you. dealing with a lot. And I just, I want to show you something. Take a look at this. And I want you to tell me where this woman is. Thank you. I am the immigrant child, destined to fulfill the goodwill of those that sent me. The immigrant child. Thank you. Remember that moment? I totally do. How do you feel when you see her? that Nadine? I feel a sense of pride. I feel a sense of possibilities, like so much potential. I think if I could ever clean up the back end, right, the shine could be so much brighter, right? Um, so there's so much more that I, I haven't even begun to scratch the surface. Okay, I want you to take a moment here. This is yours. This is your pen. Okay. I want you to give me five words you would use to describe yourself right now. The Nadine that you live with, that you breathe with right now. And I'm also gonna write five words, because you and I just met. So I'm gonna write my five, and you write your five. Got your five? I do. You read me yours. Broken, potential, hopeful, vulnerable, optimistic. I like those. Okay, Thank these you. are mine, and these are about you. Intelligent, uh -huh. resilient, determined, creative, ready. Ready like to make the shift. Yes. Ready to go. Yes. Let's start, let's do the transition, let's make the shift. Awesome. After meeting Nadine, first of all, fell in love with her. Second of all, it became obvious there were three main areas that she was going to need help with. One was switching her mindset, two was her finances, and three, decluttering her home. So the perfect dream team, Carlin Persil, Martha Adams, and Tanya Tanello. Let's go. Hi. <laughs> I've known Nadine as, for, for quite a while. Um, you know, she's very active in the black community. And I've always known her as someone who gives back because she has such a huge, generous heart. How have you been? How's your heart? Um, it's, 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 life's been dealing me some really crushing blows over the last little bit. And so I've felt like I've kind of been caving under it. Mm -hmm. it you, you know, you try to, I don't put a band-aid over it, but it's deeper than that. Yeah, it needs some stitches. So. Yes. <laughs> it, it needs some, we, we need to sit with it and take a look at it. And, and we do know that what we, you know, suppress or what we repress, mm -hmm. eventually it explodes, right? I, I always so. say, you know, in the Caribbean, you know, the whole thing is that, yeah, we sweep the sweep under the, the rug. rug. Yes. We sweep it under the rug. But what happens when it's under the rug? 
it turns into mold and yeah. then pretty soon it's rot the foundation. So in the process, one of the things we focused on was looking at the emotional cobwebs. You know, some of the resentment, the disappointment, um, the guilt, you know, the shame, a lot of the things, you know, that she has been through, she is going through. And we really created an opportunity for Nadine to acknowledge, especially the places where some of that resentment was still present in her life. Do you feel like that's in some way or some level that, you know, society or, you know, what it's family or even just, you know, the children's father, that they failed you in some way, that you didn't get the support you needed? Oh, without a doubt. I mean, the, 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 um, some of the challenges that I have with um, with the kids, you know, it would be so amazing. And he doesn't live very far from here at all. But there's so much that he could, because he does nothing. Yeah. It's all on me. All um, on but, you know, it, it, it continues and it weighs so heavy. It's funny enough in those times I create the best art, which is most ridiculous, from but um, from the pain, yeah. As a single mom, it's, it's hard to put yourself first, um, especially if you have, you know, three young kids. And of course, yes, the kids are not, they're no longer children, but the habit of consistently putting the kids first and putting yourself on the back burner, it's very hard as an adult to just switch back on and to put yourself first. Would you count the kids as part of your cheerleaders? Would they be a part of that journey with you? Or would you say they also need their own support for their own journey as you move forward? They most definitely need their own support. They, um, yeah, there's a lot of, I would say, anger. Mm -hmm. um, there's been a lot of hardships that they have faced yeah. because the journey really is mine and it it, because it's mine and they are a part they're a part of it it automatically becomes like theirs but they didn't mm -hmm. sign up for it I focused a lot I I would say on my work things and the yes. personal things didn't even get a, a quarter of, of the attention that it needed right and yes. uh, yeah and it and needs so the it attention. Creates a huge disparity between the work me and the personal me. So the personal me is kind of like drowning, 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 but I I dress up and I show up. And so it's like mm -hmm. putting on a band-aid, you know? Yes, um, a mask. And then kind of coming back so can't get out of bed or, you know what I mean? So it's, it's important to, it's so important to take care of the personal um, and imagine then how much more you could show up for work, right? You say you've forgiven Nadine for being back here again? Um, definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> definitely That's not. That's why we're here, Definitely right? not. Yeah. 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 I haven't, um, I have just a lot of weight that prevents my feet from running. So in working with Nadine, uh, one of the recurring themes that came up was forgiveness forgiveness of self, forgiveness of others. And this is why we really focused on helping Nadine to write those self-forgiveness letters. Writing a letter of forgiveness is a great way for us to get closure. It has also helped her to reconcile some of the areas or some of the parts of her life that she might have had trouble, you know, letting go, or in some cases, grieving and forgiveness. To close, repeat after me. I am well loved. 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 Yes. Nadine, I am so excited for you and I am so proud of you for being so brave and bold with your heart. And we cannot wait to see you not only dream bigger into your purpose, but to smash every single goal that you have set for yourself. We are rooting for you always. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, Nadine. I'm Martha. Hi, Martha. It's lovely to meet you. When I met Nadine for the first time, I could see a beautiful person locked in to an external frame that had taken on so much weight. And so working together to free that weight was my goal. We can often look at our finances from a position of judgment. Right. Right? Where we're judging ourselves, we're ridiculing ourselves. Mm -hmm. And like, how did you get that? Where did all of that go? Like, yeah, for sure. 
Exactly. Yeah. A lot and of negative self-talk. A lot of negative self-talk. And when we're in that negative self-talk, right? How do we how do we feel about ourselves in the financial conversation? Negative, defeated. That feeling isn't isolated to a singular moment or a singular conversation, right? It can it carries through and overlaps absolutely in other areas of your life. Mm -hmm. Um, talk with me about um, your money experiences. It's been a lot of in and out. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of that. What do you What do you mean by that? I've made good money, but I've also put out good money. Mm. There's a lot of disappointment and guilt that comes with when I'm impetuous and, and do frivolous things with money. One of the biggest ways that we can see the manifestation of the emotional suppression that Nadine was experiencing was in the clothes that she had accumulated, that was truly taking up all the space around her. Share with me your immediate financial goal as we stand in this space? Uh, my immediate financial goal is to meet all my commitments, not obligations. Yay! Um, is to meet all my, uh, my commitments. There's incremental payments that have to go towards the home that I've bought and to ensure that, you know, at all, that I'm hitting all of the, the, um, the deadlines and, uh, you know, looking forward towards the, uh, the end goal. Do you believe you're going to do it? Oh, I don't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you're going to do it. It's not about making money, spending it, and maybe saving it. It's about earning, growing, and enjoying. When I say the word make money, mm -hmm. what kind of emotional associations immediately surface for you? What words represent that? Pride. Okay. Accomplished. Good. Determination. Good. Anything else surface for you there? Kind of fear. Mm -hmm. There's a fear because of kind of knowing the pattern of how I have spent in the in the past. The fear of, um, you know, am I going to be able to? retain what I've made. So kind of like there's a bit of fear, I, I think, around that. She has internalized so much of her journey, the weight of that, when it comes to the feelings of abandonment of her mother coming to Canada to start a life, leaving Nadine at home in Jamaica for years without a mom. And then in her marriage, then feeling abandoned as her husband left her to look after all three children completely on her own from the get-go. In everything you shared with me in our last conversation, it was the external and control there. Yes. The fear, the external was controlling your internal space, mm -hmm. right? It was renting out space from you. Yes, I would say so. And so was the abandonment. That was renting out space too. Mm -hmm. Being an owner, who gets that space? I do. You do. Who's in control of the faith? I am. And who? Makes the commitment. I do. You make the commitment. In spite of Nadine, having so much fear, she's created so much good for her family. She's created income and a life for herself. Now, entering this room with you, I feel a very different energy. This is now the solution. What was once the problem is now the solution. Absolutely. We're not fully, we're not, we're, we're, we're halfway there, I would say. We're on the journey. <laughs> we're on the journey, yes. We're always <laughs> on the journey. And so with that, I would love to gift you something that I hope will help you on your journey and help you anchor 
those positive emotions that we've been connected to together. Thank you. Can I open it? Yes, I would love that, please. <laughs> I give myself the grace of understanding with the commitment to move forward. This is really beautiful. Thank you. You're so welcome. Nadine, I am sending you so much love, belief, and appreciation in who you are. Your path forward is connected to the riches of your story and you create the richness of your path forward. In any moment that you might not believe in yourself, I ask you to borrow my belief. In a time that you do believe in yourself, I ask you to amplify your belief with mine in you. You are such a powerful, beautiful light in this world. And your financial power amplifies all of that. You are deserving, my friend, and so is your voice. Okay. <laughs> so when yeah. I walked into Nadine's room for the first time, it was definitely a lot. There was stuff in every corner and every cupboard and closet. And just when I thought I saw it all, then I, I found a little bit more. Hi. Nadine. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to your bedroom. <laughs> Can I give you a hug? <laughs> yeah. Hi. There's a lot here, of course. Very much so. And um, so I'm just curious to know, you know, wh what, what are these piles looking like? Okay, so I have been um, moving quite a bit. This right. is about... I've lost count, maybe 14 or 15 moves. When I moved here two years ago, um, the things from the storage are all in the basement in bags. It's, it's, it's a bit a much, it's, it's a bit much. I know there's attachment, I know there's a lot of emotional attachment and I'm gonna be with you to guide you through this and you know, we're gonna have Appreciate fun with it. it. Appreciate and, it. Uh, and it's just gonna be, it's gonna be a new space after, so. Can't wait. So the plan for decluttering the space was we were gonna make piles which were keep, sell, and donate. Now I'm going to pull in one of these rolling racks so we could start hanging the items with tags. Were these ones new or? Uh, um, that's been, that's gently worn. Gently worn, okay. How many skirts do I have <laughs> really? So right. it's not necessary, so. We'll give it a new home. So when purging a closet, a couple of things that we wanna look at for sure are fit, so does it currently actually fit your body? And then also wearability. Is it on trend? Is it current? Yeah, this does it fit. Fits. It does fit. Good. With so this. we know? So we know that this is the a star, keeper, even star though course. it might fetch a pretty good penny, you know? Um, well, we'll see what you have and then take it yes. from there. I can totally appreciate that it was a difficult process because she has excellent taste. You know, she's an artist, she has a really great eye. A lot of the pieces were in almost perfect condition. And so something that we had to talk about was what's behind these pieces, the attachment, whether it's sentimental, maybe the value that was attached to purchasing it, and really work through that. Okay, so we have these two gorgeous gowns. Yes. Uh, so this one here. Uh, this one can definitely go. It doesn't have any stretch in it. And this? This one definitely stays. It stretches, I love it. I wore it once and it stays. Okay, and I love the ruching, and that's beautiful. There's some things that, you know, they sit, like if I don't pick it up and say, yes, I'm gonna wear this tomorrow morning, it can definitely go. If we're talking about this right here, I would have to like give you guys a beat down. Your face lit up. Right? I yeah. wouldn't even mess with you. I'm like, yes, I want it, but 100%. But other right. ones in difference, yeah, we're like, like, let's go. Yeah, it can go. At one point during the process, we realized this is a lot more than even we could tackle. So we brought in some extra hands to help in terms of sell, donate, keep, just making those piles and just really making the process more efficient and expediting it. I'm pretty good compared to when I started. I was like, oh my God, I'm really letting these people in my, <laughs> in my mess. You're doing amazing. Like I'm gonna get to the point where I stop separating and not there yet, yeah. but I'll get to <laughs> I was ready I'll to jump there. on that. Yeah. Okay, this is it. The last six and two socks. Okay, amazing. So we know these are the keepers. Yes. So our next step is we're gonna now actually hang them up in your closet. Right. Blazers, pants, we'll have them all sectioned. Right. 
And then I love, and perhaps you may not love it, but I love going from lightest color to darkest within that category. So we have these amazing organizational products from Ikea. So this awesome. one's really gonna help in the closet. We'll just secure that. Okay. And now, perfect. So it's your jeans. denim. Start with some of that. Amazing. Awesome. So the first word that comes to mind when I think about Nadine is she's a very strong woman, right? In order to have the courage to reach out to start this process, that inner strength and vulnerability is, is massive. So definitely a strong woman, a beautiful woman inside and out. I mean, that's evident when I saw her actually put on some of the clothes that she has, right? She's a gorgeous woman and really one who's quite brave. Okay, Nadine, a mass of improvement since I was last here. So how are you feeling? Good. I'm feeling really good. I am starting to see the, the progress. Yes. I dropped off a couple bags on the weekend and a couple um, friends of mine came by, grabbed a couple bags. It's like night and day. <laughs> so the last part of the process was assisting Nadine and giving her some tips around selling the pieces that she had put aside into that pile. That you paid $49.90. Mm -hmm. What do you think is an appropriate price point to sell it at? For re resale, I, I'd say maybe $20, $25. You're bang on, because usually they say half of the price that you paid. As much natural light as possible, because we want to be true to the color of the garment. This is a great backdrop that you have here, because it's a clean wall. So we can do some close-ups, we'll do a far shot. We could put that within the carousel of pictures to sell online. All right, so again, huge improvement. It's looking really great in here since we left. I could tell yes. that you've put in some more pieces. We have enough space underneath your pants that we could definitely put right. two layers of footwear and that's going to free up space. Well, I understand there's a big celebration tomorrow night. I'm sorry that I can't be in attendance, but please have the most incredible time with the team and congratulations Thank and you. celebrate all of this space and progress Thanks. and everything that you've accomplished, which has been a lot in two weeks. Thank so, you. Thank you. Nadine, thank you so much for allowing me to be part of such a special, light, hopefully life-changing process with the Dream Team. And a huge congratulations for everything that you've accomplished in a very short period of time. I have all the faith and confidence that you're going to continue with this momentum and keep chipping away so that you can live your most beautiful life. Okay, she had some intense sessions with her dream team. I mean, Nadine really sunk in and she did the work and it was not easy. It was not easy at all, especially while still trying to be a mom and an entrepreneur and a poet, but she did the work and we wanted to celebrate her and all the incredible work she had done and her amazing trajectory. Nadine! Martha, Nadine, congratulations. We're so proud of you. And I know that you will continue to be successful because of the people you have around you. Congratulations. We have a lot to celebrate. <laughs> okay, this is to Nadine. Celebrating her change and all the work that she's done from the inside out. And really acknowledging not only her progress so far, but the fact that she's going to continue it. Well, I want to see the yes, room. Yes, I want to yes. see the room. I, I feel that there has been some progress. Yeah. Progress has been made. Definitely, I would say so. Able to right. sit on the bed. You will be able to sit on the bed. So this Nadine. is my. Gosh, you have a king size bed. The space. And then I want to show you guys the closet. I mean, yeah. it's still a work in progress. Well, look, we can actually walk into the closet. We can actually we can walk, walk in. in. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you.
all of these. You've got all the bags up here. Like, yes. I need this in my life. <laughs> like, it's so good. So in a word, awesome. Nadine, when you walk in, mm -hmm. what's the feeling? <sighs> exhale. Like exhale. Yes. yes, that's the feeling to anchor. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's what we want. Mm -hmm. Start every day with a <sighs> Yes. yes. <laughs> it is so good to walk in here and see Nadine so happy, to come into her bedroom. The bed we were on, we had to make room from all the clothes to sit on. She has a king size bed, who knew? Completely clear to be able to walk into the walk-in closet. It's amazing, I hope she starts every day feeling just free of clutter and feeling good. Okay, so if you guys just wanna come with me over in the living room area, I just, I have something I wanna share with you guys. Okay. Come on over, make yourselves comfortable. I've pulled out my fall cushions. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's cuddle. Um, I wrote a little thing, and I don't have my reading glasses, so ignore me if I'm squinting. This is That's a true friend. That's true family. <laughs> okay, it goes like this. Truth be told, in my backyard, rain's been a falling a little too hard, torrentially. Eventually, I concluded that I could use some help to shore up my shelter. It happened unexpectedly one summer morn, the realization that the water had reached my top lip. It was becoming too daunting a task to stay afloat. Sure enough, I know rain must fall. In fact, they say showers are a blessing, y'all. And I am a believer. Believe me when I say I thought I was a darn good swimmer. Even won a few trophies for it. Oh, I'm a trophy babe. But even the best swimmers among us cannot endlessly endure the batters of the winds and the waves without help. It is foolhardy to even try, so here I am, telling you that I've been battling the elements solo and I no longer desire to do so. I'm raising my hand, both hands, and I'm saying, help! I could use a hand in this flooded yard because for too long the rain's been a-falling awfully hard. So thank you all so much for coming oh, and helping yes. to bail out the water out of my yard. Yes, <laughs> that's what we're here for. Let's raise a little toast for Nadine. Because this is, I mean, she sleeps and she wakes up and that's what comes out of her brain. Yeah. Yeah, that is a Without gift. Trying. Is, Without yes. trying, that is a gift. Like Cheers. Cheers. To your Cheers. brilliant brain, Cheers. to new beginnings, <laughs> to all the good stuff. Yeah. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. 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 Seeing our dream team at work, seeing Nadine really flourish and you know have all of these moments of self-awareness and forgiveness of self was such an incredible thing for me to experience, for the entire team to experience. She's a beautiful soul and I feel that we've helped given her a path to move forward. So I'm proud, I'm, I'm proud of Nadine, I'm proud of the dream team, I'm so happy we're doing this. Job well done, everyone.